Hey guys, so I'm starting a brand new YouTube channel. Yay! I'm starting a brand new YouTube channel and I am ridiculously excited about it. Cannot be more excited about it. I am pumped. I'm pumped. What is this YouTube gonna be about? What are you gonna be talking about? Are you gonna be talking? What am I asking you guys to tune into? It's gonna be a channel all about anime because I love anime. I love anime. I love anime. We're gonna talk about it. I grew up watching anime as a kid and just as I've gotten older, I've gained such a bigger appreciation for it as an art form and as a means of storytelling. It's just, it's like amazing. And there is no other uh, form of storytelling that I've seen that is as captivating as anime to me personally. But that's just me, that's just me. It's just me. Like growing up, I didn't really have friends that also watched anime or who were into it as much as I was. So I kind of like put it on the back burner, but like never talked to people about it. I would try to, you know, pull people in and be like, hey, watch this anime with me. It's a really good show. Like plotline crazy, girl, plotline crazy. Character development, insane. You know, that doesn't really work. And people, some people just aren't into it. And I think that there is a huge culture of uh, black people now who are really starting to get into anime. And this is kind of just my way of joining the community, putting my own voice into the community and giving my perspective of what I feel about this art um, and the different shows that are coming out and that have, you know, the older shows that have been out for years. So on the channel, I'm going to be doing some recaps of the different shows that I'm watching, as well as just give like my impressions of what's going on in the storyline who is who in the show, where I see the storyline going, yada, 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 talky, talky, talk. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna talk about anime. New animes that I'm watching, also talking about some old stuff that I love and I've seen tons of times over and over again. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, I have to preface by saying I don't read manga at all. Like, I just, I don't read it at all. Because I'm obsessed with watching it, I don't want to know what is going to happen. So I don't want to read it before I watch it because I want to watch it and see it. I don't want to read POW. I want to see it. I want to read POW. I want to see it happen. I don't want to read that my favorite character just got punched. I want to see it happen so I can be like, what? 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 So yeah, um, I don't read the manga, but I'm sure some of the shows I'm gonna discuss probably have hundreds of episodes past what I'm discussing at the moment, but I know that, I'm aware of that, and some of the stuff I'm gonna discuss I've already also seen, so I'm also aware of that, but it's just a means of recapping, putting us all on the same page. It's also just a way of building a platform to discuss what's going on in the show. So yeah, everything that I'm gonna say is strictly my opinion, how I see it happening, what my perspective on it is. So if you watch this and you're like, she doesn't know what she's talking about, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, maybe I don't, but that's just how I feel. <laughs> the first show that I'm gonna start watching and discussing with you guys is Black Clover. So Black Clover is a new show for me. I've never seen an episode of it ever. I've never seen an episode of it. I'm really interested to watch it. I honestly don't know a lot about it at all. To me, when I hear Black Clover, I kind of was thinking it was gonna be like a really gory show. I will have to say that like, that's like kind of my favorite type anime. Uh, that's probably kind of weird, but the ones that I enjoy the most that I think have like the best storylines are the ones where it's just like no, no filter that's going down like it's just going down so yeah that's my jam and so that's what i kind of was expecting it to be but when i looked it up i was like mm, definitely not within that category i don't think because i'm pretty sure it's like about magic i think locked in a friendly rivalry they work hard towards their goal thing to become the wizard king all right yes two people are trying to become wizard king magic uh, you know, excels at magic. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, someone doesn't have powers. I love that. I love that. When there's one person who's like, I don't have any powers, that makes for a great storyline. They're on their path to greatness, I guess, is what I just read, with or without magic. Now, where did I, where am I watching Black Clover at? Funimation. Okay, quick aside about Funimation. How do you not have, wait, before I say this, let me look it up. There we go. How do you not have Bleach on your streaming site? 
how do you not have it it's one thing to not have all the episodes but you don't have it secondly secondly and people probably don't feel as strongly about this as i do but how do you not have naruto on your streaming service what what but seriously to not have bleach for naruto crazy crazy but yeah so the very first show that i'm gonna do is black clover it's a show that I've never seen before, obviously for me just telling y'all I've never seen it before and me just now reading the bio of what it is about right now being like, huh? So yeah, you guys will be getting my reactions as I watch it for the very, very, very first time. Um, how many episodes are there of Black Clover? So, there are 73 videos of Black Clover. Uh, I'm excited. I'm not a fan of of animes that only have like 13 episodes it just makes me sad it makes me sad because i get attached i get attached and i want to keep watching and when you tell me there's only 13 episodes i know i can't get that attached i can't get invested because once i get invested you're gonna be like snatch it away don't snatch it away from me and what show is a great example of that but dead man wonderland I started it and I was like, dang, this show is good. I got to like episode 10 and I was hooked and I realized there were, there were only like three more episodes that I could watch. I'm like, why would y'all do that? Why would y'all do that to me? And I'm pretty sure there are like no more episodes of this coming out, right? Is that true? Is that true? But yeah, I can't wait to start watching and talking about it with you guys because I have been wanting to do this for such a long time, but I finally was like, why not just do it? Um, yeah, why not just do it? Just go for it, girl. The next video that you guys will see will be of me reviewing the first, I think, four episodes of Black Clover. Um, either four or five, we'll see what happens. We'll see how the show is shaping up. So see you guys in the next video where I'm going to be talking about Black Clover episodes one through four slash maybe five. <laughs> see ya.